tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and the Empress Gotta Get Money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. You know, if you've been paying attention, man, we dropped a video earlier on this same topic, but we are back again to revisit it because Junto Nakatani has been made aware of Naya Inoue statements. In case he wasn't already, you know, he probably was, you know, but they asked him about his thoughts in regards to Naya Inoue basically saying, hey, man, if you want to fight me, you gotta fight little bro. You know what I'm saying? He big bro both on. So basically saying, you know, I got a biological little brother, and now you my little brother too. You know what I'm saying? You adopted, you know. Um <laughs> so you know, uh the interviewer brought it to uh Juto Nakatai's attention. Juto, Juto uh laughed it off and he said, Yeah, I, I welcome that. And it makes sense because Juto Nakatani is a champion at 115, sorry, 118, excuse me, Bantamweight. And Takuma Inoue, now he Inoue's younger brother, is also a champion at 118. Why this fight hasn't been made yet, I have no clue. But this will be a unification match. I think it's a great match that I think Juto Nakatani will win. And like I always said, man, this will set up like an anime revenge arc for Naya Inoue to come back down and avenge the loss of his little brother. You know what I'm saying? I think it'll be very intriguing, a nice little storyline. And I think Juto Nakatani will beat Takuma Inoue, obviously, in this scenario that I have in my head that I made last year. This is nothing new. Last year, yes, I'm the first one to drop that thing on you. You know what I'm talking about? Pause. No, did he? Um, I think that he would not only conquer Lil Bro, but I think adopted bro will also become big bro at the same time because i think he will beat naya anyway now i know a lot of people are like oh doc you tripping you tripping that's that's big now yeah you know what i'm saying he's the monster in fact he is the monster you know but as, as those of you that been rocking with me you know for a while that while i do like naya anyway top three pound for pound you know what i'm saying undisputed two-way classes him terence crawford and uh, alexander Usyk, all phenomenal fighters man generational talents all-time grace however i see junto nakatani having that skill set and that ability and the physical characteristics and traits to be able to conquer not just the bantam division bantamweight division and, and and get undisputed but also go up to 122 and conquer that as well now i'm not saying it's going to be an easy task at all by no means am i suggesting that him versus naya in a way is, is a shoe in or a given that he will beat him no i think it's be a tough fight but i'm just taking a leap of faith and i'm going with who i think will be the underdog that'll be junto nakatani because you know what i went with daniel dubois and i gave you all that breakdown of what transpired Daniel Dubois beat Anthony Joshua, just like we said. I also went with Martin Bacoli and thought he would beat Jared Anderson, and that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? So I have a plethora of good predictions. That don't mean I'm always right because I went with Pitbull over Ryo. We saw what happened. I was wrong there. You dumbass. But, you know, I'm not afraid to take chances. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not afraid to uh, go against the grain and also and, and provide my own analysis and breakdown and tell you as to the reasons as to why I picked Junto. I'm not going to tell you in this video. Got him. You know, but I will break it down later as to why I think Junto Nakatani will be him. And, oh, just to add to my credibility, I also picked Liam Paro to beat Subra Matias. You know what I'm talking about? And I picked Ryan Garcia to beat Devin Haney before I knew about the steroids. We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. That's all. So I got a long history of being correct, baby. You know, we do our tank. That's why I'm the doc, and that's why you rock with me. So I do think Juto Nakatani beats not only Takuma in a way, but I think he also beats Naya in a way. You know what I'm saying? He might eradicate the whole in a way family if Koki in a way wants to get some too. That's their cousin, you know, who's, who's at one. 35 or 140 i can't remember i think 140 but yeah man but yeah i think this is a great fight either way it goes even if Naya anyway wins or even if takuma anyway beats juto dakatani and juto doesn't even get to now yeah i still think it's great you know what i'm saying it's great and intriguing matchups that i would love to see so i look forward to it y'all let me know in the comments who you think will win am i crazy for picking juto or or, or do y'all agree with me man i appreciate y'all rocking me as always remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets